I'm Scott Weedman. I work here in ECE as a technician and I am an instructor in art design. It's called the Hive Touch Synthesizer. It started off as a workshop about three years ago. I uh, developed a soldering kit that people could build in a workshop in a few hours and then take home a musical instrument that they could play. It was a way of trying to inspire some interdisciplinary ideas to happen on campus for engineers to meet musicians and to talk about ways that uh, this project could inspire learning across those boundaries. So down here is the piano layout, um, what you might recognize white and black keys. And up here are the hexagons, that's um, the harmonic relationships. It actually allows you to access higher notes going vertically. So it's, it's sensitive to how hard you're pressing um, on the surface. If you touch lightly, you get a light note. And if you press harder, you get louder notes. And as you move your finger to the right and left on each key, it pushes the sound right and left. And so you can get a lot of articulation by subtle movements of your finger in each zone. One of the things about that moment when people first make it and turn it on and test it, it it's just sort of a, a really spontaneous response to hear a sound that you're just touching and it comes alive. You're really touching the circuitry. You have a really hands-on control over the way the sound is being generated. Music and geometry have a mathematical commonality. It's a really powerful thing. It's a way, I think, of approaching learning about music theory in a less analytical way, in a more of a playful way. 